Hi, everyone. It's Lori back here with Three in Three, busy book, t- book talks for very busy people. Today kicks off Native American Heritage Month. And while we all know that Native American heritage and history should be taught throughout the school year, we are going to use this month to highlight three books and a bonus, all from Native American authors. Why is Native American literature so important? Well, most people haven't even read contemporary books by Native American authors, and reading these books creates opportunities for kids and for teachers, actually, to better understand one another and to communicate more effectively. So, starting off with a picture book, we have We Are Still Here, Native American Truths Everyone Should Know. This is by Tracy Sorrell, and it's the follow-up to their wonderful Tracy and Franz's great book, We Are Grateful. This is a wonderful book. It has 12 topics all about Native American history, uh, from anything from assimilation, relocation, tribal activism, the Indian Child Welfare Act, language revival, and sovereign resurgence. It's a really fantastic book. It's all told through reports that kids, kids in school are giving about these topics. Do not miss the back matter. There's more information on each of the 12 topics, a fantastic timeline, glossary, sources, and a wonderful author's note. Do not miss this book. It is a treasure. Speaking of treasures by Native authors, wow, oh, wow. You know how I love an anthology. This is called Ancestor Approved, and it is um, edited by the wonderful Native American author, Cindy Alitic Smith, and it includes stories and poems from veteran Native writers like Joseph Bruchak and Tim Tingle, as well as new writers that you know and love, Brian Young, Christine Day, the aforementioned Tracy Sorrell. And they are, they, all stories are separate and you can read them separately, but each of the stories and, and the poems, there are stories and poems both, intersect for a really cohesive read if you want to read it all at once. And finally, I have one of the most incredible YAs. You know it's a really good book when it's been blurbed by Angeline Bully. This, sto- this book is called Hunting by Stars, and it is by the wonderful Sherry Dimoline, and it is the sequel to The Marrow Thieves, which came out in 2017. It is both a dystopian thriller and simultaneously rooted in our country's history. It's action-packed with personal and community histories woven throughout the book, and it is full of diverse characters from various Native nations. If you are a YA lover or teacher, you will not want to miss adding this book to your classroom library. And I do have a bonus. I know I'm almost over three minutes, but I did want to throw an early reader in there by Don Quigley. This is a new series called Jojo McCoons, and she's so great. She is a seven-year-old girl who kind of moves through the world a little bit differently than anyone else on her OG boy reservation. It seems like her mom, her grandma, and her teacher have a lot to learn um, about what it means to be friendly. So she's trying to figure out how to make more friends because her best friend at school may not want to be friends with her anymore. And Jojo McCoons is, she's full of pride in her culture and in herself. She's full of joy. She's really, really funny. And this is the first book in a chapter series that celebrates a spunky young OG boy girl. And the series, the second book in this series, it's called Jojo McCoons Fancy Pants, comes out in April of 2022. I hope you enjoyed all of these books. Links to them are in the information right below. If you want to get these um, talks sent straight to your email, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.